So just now uh, we have mentioned how the seven universes help consciousness in connected process. So the consciousness is compared uh, to a car, car body, and the car's body. And mental factors is compared to mental factors are compared to the gear, shift gear, the steering, the petrol, the brake, and so on. If the car, bo- if there is a car body without shift gear, steering, petrol, can a car move forward? Cannot. So if you have gear here, one steering, one brake, one petrol, but no car body, can it go forward? Cannot. So consciousness is like a car body. Uh, it needs mental factors in order to uh, perform the function uh, in order uh, in a cognitive process. It needs mental factors to understand well the object. Uh, and mental factors also cannot do their work without the arising of consciousness. And the, the, the story I mentioned just now, the Samawati burned the Pacheka Buddha. The Pacheka Buddha did not die because at that time Pacheka Buddha was entering into Eight Samapati. Uh, sorry, was entering into Niroda Samapati, the cessation of attainment. Uh, so those and only Anagami who has eight attainment and Arahan who has eight attainment can enter into this Niroda Samapati, attainment of cessation. And for those who enter into attainment of cessation, they cannot be burned. Uh, they cannot be burned, they cannot be killed. But that volition, the second time the Queen Samawati did it with bad volition to kill him. That's why the karma was accumulated. The unwholesome karma was accumulated. Okay, now we come to six occasioners. It is called occasioners because it's not, uh, it does not arise with all types of consciousness. It only arises with certain types of consciousness. Not like seven universes. Uh, seven universes must arise with all types of consciousness. Six occasionals only arise with certain types of consciousness. So what are the six? Uh, let us read together. Initial application of mind. Sustained application of mind. Decision, energy, rapture, desire. Okay. What is the characteristic of initial application of mind? Vitaka. Application of the mind to the object, or placing the mind to the object. Uh, place your mind to the object is called vitaka. The function is to strike the object. The, manifest, the manifestation, leading of the mind onto the object. When this vitaka is developed, it becomes the jhana factor. Uh, it becomes one of the jhana factors. The two, sustained application of mind. Conti- the characteristic is continued pleasure on the object. The function, sustain, sustaining application of associated mental state on the object. The manifestation, anchoring of associated mental state in the object. When the vitaka place the mind on the object, which are sustained application of mind? Huh? Which are continually examining that object. And Vitaka and Vichara uh, sustain application of mind. These two are jhana factors. Uh, Vitaka and Vichara. These two are jhana factors. So what's the difference? Uh, the Vitaka is like bees uh, diving towards a flower. Vitaka is uh, application of mind. Diving towards the flower. Uh, towards the flower. And Vichara is like bees buzzing above the flower. So this is the difference. But you may think that then Vitaka must arise first, then Vichara later. No, you should not think like that. All mental factors arise together, cease together. But according to the order of teaching, we must tell one by one. Okay? Just like contact. Or you may think, or only contact arises first, feeling follow after. No, it's not like that. Huh? All must arise together. 
Uh, but according to the order of teaching, we must tell Vitaka first which, uh, which are the letter. Uh. Number three, decision. The characteristic of decision is con- conviction, the firm state of mind free from uh, wavering, which makes the conclusion just this one. The function is not to grope. grope. Manifestation as this decisiveness and is compared to a stone pillar owing to its unshakable, unshakable resolve regarding the object. Now, this is easy to understand. The next one, energy. The characteristic of energy is supporting, exertion and marshalling. The function is to support associated mental state as an old house stands when supported by new pillar. So when you come to meditation, sometimes uh, your head uh, starts to bend forward, backward. Why? 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 Because of lack of energy. So at that moment, if you put a little bit, uh, increase a little bit energy, then the energy performs the function to support, support you. Just like old house can stand when it's supported by the new pillars. And the manifestation of energy is not collapsed, so your body becomes straight again, not collapsed. <laughs> huh? And the proximate cause for energy, a sense of urgency of all grounds for, for the initiation of energy, such as birth, old age, and death. And just like a, like, a, like a story happened during, I think, during Buddha's time. There was one monk, was, I think was caught by a robber. And this robber want to kill him. And the monk told him, Please give me one more, one more night. And the robber said, No. If I give you one more night, you may run away. Okay. Then the monk, the monk uh, took, a, uh, took a big stone and break his both knees. Break his both knees and told the robber, Okay, now I, I have broken my knees. I cannot run away. Please give me one more night. Okay, Robert said, okay, I will give you, I will kill you tomorrow. So this monk, uh, these are the proximate cause. Uh, the monk reflect. Uh, I, he feel very shameful to die with the defilement intact in his mind. Because he's, he's a still, still putujana, still wording. He feel very shameful, die with defilements with the, all the corrupt, corrupted mind. So he strive very hard and he reflect the uh, uh, birth, old age and death. He strive very hard. So the next day morning, before the robber came, he became Arahan. This is called effort, Viriya. Huh? Viriya. That's why when rightly initiated, huh? this energy of Viriya should be regarded as the root of all achievements. Another, another monk another monk come from very wealthy family and because he come from very wealthy family his soul is so gentle uh, supple gentle after he ordained become a monk he strive very hard people went to sleep he never, he never go to sleep if he feel drowsy he will do walking meditation so when he did walking meditation because too much walking uh, his uh, soul is his soul was breathing. When you walk until your soul is breathing, what will you do? Huh? Go and lie down on the bed. Huh? But this monk never do that. Malau cannot walk already, what to do? Crawling. Huh? So he, he do crawling meditation. <laughs> but can, any posture can do, as long as your mindfulness, you keep your mindfulness. So when you do the crawling meditation, at that time, unfortunately, this, there was a hunter, I think, in the dark, huh? so, so, uh, uh, so a creature, he thought a creature is crawling, it must be, a, it must, uh, it must be an animal. So he struck him with a spike, it's called spike? Spear. 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 Uh, it, it struck him with a spear. Even then, uh, this monk taking that pain as object and contemplate vipassana and rich arahanship, if I'm not mistaken. So this is called effort, right effort. Huh? 